Hello, today we're going to use the reshape tool to change the shape of the heart. So the reshape tool is this one here, but before you um, click on it, you need to select your object. I've got the heart loaded and we need to select it with our select tool and left click on it till it turns pink and then click on the left click on the reshape tool. When you do this, you get a wireframe around the shape that you've selected and you get the nodes that you clicked in when you originally digitized the shape. So these round ones here are the right click nodes for a curved line and these square ones here are the left click nodes for a straight line. You also get a green diamond here and a red cross and they might be somewhere else on the um, outside of your design and they are the enter and exit points that is where the stitching will start and finish so in this case the stitching is going to start and finish at the same spot but they could start and finish it could start and finish at different spots and this line up here is the angle line which if you hold your cursor above the node it will tell you what angle the stitches are stitching at which is 25 degrees. Now you can um, reshape the tool by a uh, reshape the object by just left clicking and dragging the nodes to the new shape. Like so. When you're happy with your new shape press enter and the new shape will fill with stitches. It's not a very pretty shape, so we'll undo that. You can also move more than one node at a time. So if you hold down your control button, you can left click, and you'll notice they're turning a dark blue as you select them. Once you've selected all the nodes you want to move, just left click and drag one of them, and all those nodes will move together. So that's a quick way if you want to expand one side of an object, and just press Enter, and it will fill with stitches. Undo that again. You can also um, delete or add extra nodes. So if you didn't want this point down the bottom, you could just select it and press your delete button and that will remove the node. When you press your enter button, the stitches will contract to the new shape. If you want to add a node, you just need to left or right click, depending on whether you want a curved node or a straight line node, on your object um, wireframe. So if I want a straight node in here, I left click, and then I might want to move that out to create a little point, or I can right click here to create a curve. Um, you can do that as often as you like, and then you might want to change the shape altogether. Once you're happy with your new shape, press enter. Okay. Now the angle tool will show the angle of the stitches. Now just to make it clearer, I'm going to change the color and you can watch my videos on color management to learn how to do this. But I'm going to change it to blue. We can change that in the reshape um, tool or the select tool and we're going to left click off the object to also so that those nodes aren't selected anymore. The other thing I'm going to do is this design has underlay, um, automatic underlay on it and if I want to remove that so that you can see the stitches more clearly I can just click on the auto underlay and that's removed the auto underlay. Now I'll just zoom in so you can see these stitches and the angle they're stitching in and it's a bit confusing because the needle points are showing and that's under the view um, menu and just deselect the needle points and they'll disappear. Now you can see that the angle of the stitching is going in this direction which was the same direction as that angle line. I'll just go back to one to one, the same direction as this. Now if we want to change the direction of the stitches we can grab that angle tool and move it to another angle and press enter and now if I zoom in we can see that stitches are I'll zoom in a little bit more the stitches are going in this angle here the same way as we put the angle of the angle line so you can quickly change the angle of the stitching in an object 
go back to one to one. Now I'll just zoom in again. You might have noticed the um, wavy line here. That's where the machine uh, stitches uh, to another spot to continue the fill um, so that you get a nice even fill on the top. Don't worry about that in a fill stitch because it's hidden by the stitching on the top. To exit from the reshape tool, I'm just going to undo this so I keep my heart in shape. To exit out of the reshape tool, you just need to collect, click on the um, select object and then left click off the object and you're back to your normal um, mode.